Hi, welcome to Learning Monkey. I am Raghuveer. In this class, we will discuss about arithmetic and relational operators in Java. In our last classes, we already discussed about uh, different data types. Uh, so please watch those classes and come back here. The link for the playlist is provided in the description below. Coming to today's class, uh, an operator is a symbol in Java. It is used to perform some operations. So what kind of operations, arithmetic operations are going to do, arithmetic, opera, uh, arithmetic operators are used to perform arithmetic operations. Uh, the symbols that we are going to use here is plus, minus, division, multiplication and modulus. These are the five arithmetic operators we are going to use in Java. Let's try to understand how to use these operators. So int a is equal to 20, b is equal to 30, c. We are taking two vari three variables, three variables of names a, b, c. c is equal to a plus b. See the, uh, the operator plus, the symbol plus is applied between two operands. a, b, we call it as operands. If it is applied between two operands, we call it as binary operator. The operator plus is applied between two operands. So we call it as a binary operator. That's why arithmetic operators are binary operators. So C is equal to A plus B. What happens here? Get the value of A. What's the value of A? 20. What's the value that present in B? 30. 20 plus 30. 50. After doing addition, that result should be placed in C. C equal to. That is what we are assigning the result to the variable C. That is what happening here. If you display system dot out dot uh, put ln of, uh, we did not mention the complete statement here. You write it down during the execution system dot out dot uh, print ln of c. If you display c, what you are going to get uh, 50. This is what plus operator, arithmetic operator plus. Uh, similarly, we can use, uh, no need to assign this value to c. We can directly write in the print statement so that uh, the operation will be done and the output will be displayed system.out.println of a minus b a minus b means 10 minus 30 10 minus 30 means minus 10 20 minus 30 which is minus 10 the output it is going to display is minus 10 similarly if you want to do multiplication a multiplied by b 20 multiplied by 30 which is 600 this output you are going to get 600 and one important division operator you have to understand division and modulus operator so you need to understand one important point here Let's take an example system.out.c, c is equal to a by b. We are doing this operation before this statement, this statement is there. c is equal to a divided by b. What is the value of a? 20. What is the value of b? 30. 20 by 30. What is the output? It is 0 0.4 something. We are going to get the decimal values, floating point values, 0 0.4. But this 0 0.4 value should be saved in a variable called c. But think about it, this C variable is defined of type int, means the variable C is going to save only integer type of values, so floating point values cannot be stored at this location, the variable, the allocated location, these discussions made in our previous classes, the memory allocated to C is able to store only integer type of data, but what's the value you are going to get here, it is floating point value. 0 0.4 something so what's the value that present after dot means after decimal value remove it what's the remaining before decimal value which is 0 so it is going to store only 0 <coughs> this point after the value the value that present after dot it is neglected it is not considered only the value that present before point is going to be stored so the output here is c is giving a value of 0 0 this is very very important from this concept we are going to understand type conversion and type casting which we are going to discuss in our next classes see next one is the system dot out dot print ln of a modulus b this modulus operation we are going to use many times during coding many of the logics which we are going to design for coding that based on modulus operator is going to help you a lot 
so you need to understand what's the modulus operator means a modulus b is equal to a is equal to 5 assume that a is equal to 5 b is equal to 2 5 modulus 2 a modulus 2 means 5 modulus 2 modulus operator is going to display the reminder value so you need to do 5 divided by 2 modulus means 5 divisible by 2 what is the reminder you are going to get 5 2 2 2 is 4 5 minus 4 which is going to be 1 what is the reminder value you are going to get 1 is the reminder value so the output is 1 a modulus b 5 modulus 2 it is going to display 1 reminder value it is going to display it's very very useful in coding that's why you have to understand it probably a modulus b is going to give you reminder value a by b reminder value so coming to the relational operators these are also binary operators these these operators are going to be applied between two operands so the symbols are less than less than or equal to greater than greater than or equal to instance of this is an operator which we are going to discuss this operator in our coming classes in order to understand this instance of uh, operator you have to understand class object so we not yet discussed what's class and object so we are going to discuss them later so equal to and not equal to these symbols less than less than or equal to greater than greater than or equal to we call them as a relational uh, comparison operators and equal to not equal to equality operators so what's what it is going to do here let's take int a is equal to 2 b is equal to 5 c is equal to 2 system dot out dot print enough a less than b we are checking the relation between two operands what is the value in a 2 what is the value in b 5 2 less than 5 is it true or false yes 2 is less than 5 that's why relational operators going to display the output of true or false whether the relation you asked is it true or false that is what the output you are going to get so a less than b is it true yes 2 less than 5 yes it is true that's why it is going to display true a less than or equal to c yes 2 less than or equal to c 2 equal to 2 so it is less than or equal to any one condition satisfies output is true a greater than b false a means 2 b means 5 2 greater than 5 no that's why it is going to display false a greater than or equal to b false similarly a equal to c it is going to check the comparison of equality condition between two operands a equal to c what is the value present in a 2 what is the value present in c 2 2 equal to 2 yes it is equal so that's why 2 equal to 2 which is true similarly a not equal to b 2 not equal to 5 yes the condition is true whatever the condition it says you have to check for not equal to a not equal to b that is what you have to check is it true or false yes 2 not equal to 5 so that's why it is going to display true this is how we are going to use this relational and arithmetic operators so if you understand if you understand these operators not only this in our next classes we are going to discuss many of the operators which are uh, remaining uh, in bitwise and uh, logical operators if you understand the concept of operators and how to write the expressions so the next concept conditions and all those things you are easy you can easily understand when we are going to use these operators why these operators are very very helpful in our coding hope you understand these examples if you have any questions regarding the concept please post your questions in the comment section below thanks for watching if you haven't subscribed to our channel please subscribe to our channel and press bell icon for the latest updates thank you